everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sid i am back with another video sorry i've been snacking i'm about to go pick up my son but before i do that i want to run to family dollar to get a couple things i need some new um nail polish um just like regular polish because I, all i have at home is gel polish so i just need some regular um polish for my toes because i'm doing today is maintenance day i look a hot mess and i'm tired of looking like that so lashes feet um i'm all out of wax beads so i had to go back and revert back to that good old nair days so i'm going to pick up either that shaving powder that i've seen um on tiktok a couple months ago or i'm probably going to do the nair stick to what you know you right right you know you know what i mean you know what I mean? Um, so, I'm going to run in there really quickly and then I'll check back in with you guys while I'm in the store. And then you, you already know we're going to get this maintenance day underway. Alrighty, stay tuned. Yeah, so I made a quick stop in Family Dollar for some nail polish and clear coat because I need to do my toes tonight. And I need some of this. <laughs> because I was going to use that like magic shave and stuff but mm -mm. I changed my mind so let's make sure I don't need anything else out of here before I go get the boy first and foremost let's get into this food I'm about to eat these smothered chicken wings and my um, jasmine rice and broccoli um, but I'm all set up um, I have a, a couple oh, I can't even talk Lord, I need to get it together today I have two polishes to choose from and then my essentials for getting my feet ready. Y'all let me get the speed on up in here and my, don't mind the ash. <laughs> oh, this water is hot. Y'all gotta let this, I gotta let this water cool off. I'll come right back. Excuse me guys. I don't know why I keep stuttering over my words today, but I'm trying to get it together. Anyway, I am back. My feet are soaking right now. Um, so I thought I would talk to you guys. The water finally cooled off because that one tan was a little bit ridiculous. A little bit. Um, so I was sharing with you guys my essentials. So I have my scrub and my lotion. And then I have my um, nail clippers, cuticle pushers, nail file, nail buff. And then I can't decide between this um, like lavender. These are more like spring colors. I think I might lean more towards the pink because my, my nails are still in that like marble pink. Um... So we might do that. I don't know if I'm gonna do eyebrows today. I really am leaning towards letting someone else, get somebody else to do it. Like I'm in that mood today. Um, and plus I'm out of wax beads. So I'll probably just go tomorrow <clears throat> to get that done. But anywho, I just wanted to share like what happened yesterday. I was scrolling on TikTok and um, this lady was just sharing her um, basically sharing this prophecy that she had prophesied over this woman, but it was resonating with me so much because of what she said and how she said it. And this is why I said it resonated with me because this is what she basically said in the place where the enemy thought he had literally thought he had you and thought you were defeated is the same place where God uses or literally the same place where God gives you your promise. And the reason why I say that, because um, over the summer, when my fiance and I had broken up, <clears throat> I had came in the bedroom because I was overwhelmed with emotion. I remember sharing this testimony. It's on my um, YouTube page. And I remember coming into the room and punching the floor. And that day I broke my hand in what used to be our bedroom that we shared. Um, but then we, you know, we split up. We He slept in a different room, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so in this same bedroom, is where he proposed and I literally was to tears because when we sometimes like I said when we think about enemies we think about humans and um but we wrestle not against flesh and blood but principality so God uses the same place where the enemy th thought mm, excuse me broccoli all in my teeth um where the enemy thought that he had you so bound so down and like yes she's finally defeated she's finally given in but God was like, let me, sh let me show you something. I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And your enemies are those things that torment you. Depression, anxiety, fear, lack. That is what the place where God prepares a table in front of those enemies. Those are your enemies. <clears throat> Not people. 
Because like I said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but the principalities that come to hinder us, to hinder the move of God, to make us feel like we're so mentally incapable of doing anything. <laughs> they have us so bound that we feel like that nothing is going to happen for us. Nothing is going to work. And I was declaring some things in the car today because I'm still um, <clears throat> looking forward to God just, just blowing my mind. Like he has already begun to blow my mind in this season, but I know there's more. God is like, there's more, there's more. And I'm just on the edge of my seat in expectation because he's like okay I showed you what I can do now continue to believe me when God does things in your life it's just it's to build your faith when he's like you know that promise that I made to you that's that is what I want you to hold on to but not in a sense of holding on to the promise that you can't see um on to the next or you're just so caught up in the promise but this is what I mean when I was in worship on Sunday at church, because I was fighting through trying to worship, um, getting out of my flesh, I was in such a weird, judgy, like, I was in church, like, I was like, Lord, what is that? <laughs> like, what, what is going on in my mind? And I had to really um, get my flesh to chill out. I'm like, listen, this ain't even about, this ain't even about you see it. This ain't even about, when you're worshiping God, it's about God. Like, you need to let that go. Whatever you, you got going on, <laughs> you got to let that go. And so I just, you know, pressed in. And it was almost like a movie playing in my mind. God began to remind me why it is that I need to worship him, why it is that I worship, why it is that I love him. All of this, I mean, it brought me to tears. It was literally like a movie of the last couple months of my life. Like, you remember that time when you thought I wasn't there? I was there the whole time. You remember that time? It was just like that. Like I was there in that moment. Like when I, I felt like he was the furthest away. He just had, he just gave me this picture in my mind of him like standing in every room where I thought he was not present. It was just this beautiful, beautiful picture of how God said, I am ever present. Even in the moments where you think I have left you behind. It was so beautiful to see God show me my own life the past and show me that I was there each and every time. Like I never left you. So why would I start now? Oh my God, that was so good to me. And I needed that because the enemy wants to blind you with your flesh and you, you start looking at people. You start like, you have to catch yourself because, because though we are kingdom citizens, though we are followers of Christ, our flesh is not saved. The only part of us is saved is our spirit and our spirit is trying to get our soul to be renewed each and every day. Our mind, that's what says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind each and every day or be re uh, as often as you need to. Anytime you need to check your flesh, check it, get it and check because that is what we have to do because our, our, our bodies, our flesh um, will never be saved. This is just what holds the spirit. But you have to constantly check your flesh because I know I do. I have to because I'm just like, that. that's not even cool. Like, calm down. See, like you you are no higher than anyone else. You are no grander. You are no great. We are all on the same playing field. We are all heirs. We are all a part of God's kingdom. Like you don't want to ever get to a point, and I was speaking to myself, you don't want to ever get to a point where you think you're above what someone's preaching or, or teaching in the word. If it's because that's what I had to tell myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with y'all. Because I was like, dang, this message is so, you know, I was like, dang, this message is so, uh, like, I feel like, you know, we've heard, not we've heard this. I, I don't know what I was thinking, like, on Sunday. But but then God reminded me, there are people in this room who need the the the, the foundations of my word. And you need the reminder yourself. I'm like, God, you're right. <laughs> you're right. And it was so many souls saved on Sunday as a result and I began to rejoice after I judged but you like I said you always have to be checking your flesh this is a daily walk it is not to be so that you uh condemn yourself and no longer or you just stay in that mindset of continuing to condemn continuing to get to judge because we we're, we're we're human our minds begin to wander and if we don't catch it that says says that is why it says in the word take every thought captive because if you so my video decided to cut off on me but i was just saying be ye transformed be ye transformed in the renewing of your mind it's a daily thing guys and i just wanted to share that tidbit before i get into the whole shebang so i started with my feet today um because i need to i'm gonna scrub because i am shaving waxing whatever nearing whatever <laughs> hair removal is taking place so i am going to exfoliate my legs while i'm doing 
um, my foot spa. So I'm gonna exfoliate and then I'm probably gonna get in the shower and there, all that good stuff. Then do my facial and then these, these poor little thingies right here. My poor little lashes that I have not done. I was like, I need a maintenance day. I was like, I looked in the mirror. I was like, wow. So much has changed because, you know, you just start changing your, um, my, t my time is now shared once again. And I had to shift because I was so used to, um, not being selfish, but being able to have that time where I have self care and not having to dedicate time to my fiance, then dedicate time to my son. It was just used to be my time, then my son's time, you know, so now I'm delegating my time, like I said in another video. So I'm just trying to make sure I have things done in a timely order so that the household is together and all of that good jazz you know what i mean um and so i'll be back once my feet are done um i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this maintenance day today like as far as recording mm, so i'll be back once i figure that out y'all i am back and <laughs> i'm stressed honey stressed i tell you i will not 10 out of 10 do not recommend going old school so i just finished using the nail right and um letting stuff sit it made me feel like i was getting a relaxer all over again like <laughs> oh my god the way i was sitting and waiting like the seven minutes or however long we used to sit for relaxers i cannot remember for those who um do get relaxers kudos to y'all oh my god i'm traumatized so I waited for the however much time I needed to wait, right? <laughs> I'm like, next maintenance day is out of the house. Bump this. Like, I was so stressed out in the shower. <laughs> Legit stressed. Because I, one, I step in the shower and I'm like letting the water run on my legs. I'm like, all right, do your thing, right? Mm -mm. So I finally, so I started using my hand to rub because I forgot how to use the stuff. I, looked, I read the instructions. I, I promise I did. So I'm, you know, putting the stuff on, letting the shower run, hit my legs, whatever, whatever. Oh, Lord, I'm making a mess. Okay. And, <laughs> oh. Joe, are you good? I'm just going to make sure my son was good. Um, anywho, making sure the uh, water is hitting my legs and getting all the stuff off, whatever, right? OMG. When I tell you. I put my leg down to start letting the water hit the other leg and almost ate it. When I mean almost tore myself up in the shower, I mean, I was slipping around. I was like, if I hit, <laughs> if I hit this floor, I'm going to be so mad. I'm in the shower stressed. I've never had such a stressful shower. I will never, never. No, we are not going back. I will just wait. My legs just going to have to be hairy because I'm not doing that again. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. <laughs> Zero out of 10, I should say. <laughs> Zero out of 10, do not recommend. I'm tearing my scarf up too. But anyway, not doing it again. At all. You better believe that. I mean, I like truly mean that. Like, uh-uh. Bump that. <laughs> that was horrific. Like, I literally almost ate it. In the shower. A couple times. I'm going to do my facial scrub. Ooh. Ooh. And then not only that, right? So I'm waiting for it to um do its thing. And um I'm waiting for the hair to come off. And I'm like, Lord. So as I'm rinsing it off, I'm like, my skin is still burning. I'm like, I need... I feel like I need the neutralizer from the um, perm on my legs. Literally. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that was traumatic. So, um, we're going to leave that nair stuff in the store the next time and stop trying to do stuff the easy way. Because that's all that was. Being lazy. I ain't feel like shaving. Mm -mm. I ain't feel like doing all that. But shaving, you know what? If I have to. Well, like I said, I'm just going to be patient. Like, we're just going to wait on the stuff to come in the mail. Because that was traumatic. Traumatic. <clears throat> but once I finish washing my face off, I should be done. I'm probably going to speed this up right about now. When I mean laugh to keep from crying, laugh to keep from crying. 
this has been the most the by far i can't even get it out by far the most wackiest <laughs> maintenance day i've had in a long time like when i said everything went a little left it went a little left like my face is clean um my camera cut off because i ran out of storage so i'm praying to god that i can make it through these lashes like i cannot believe it i was literally in the middle of um washing the scrub off of my face and i was like and i'm gonna fast forward right now and the camera was like no you're not <laughs> we all done with that so let me just do this quick this is the bond and seal if you haven't seen um the kiss um i did a tutorial on this in one of my videos i can link it underneath uh i'll link it underneath but this should be a very quick and painless process i'm not even going <laughs> so i have one last one as you can see because my camera decided to cut off so left lash is already on let's do this again on this side as i was saying it's the kiss bond and seal 10 day lash or falscara um with the little spoolie with the product on the end okay <laughs> y'all and then i just took like a two hour break to pay to play um mario kart um what is it sonic olympic world like lord with my son because i'm like all right i have spent a lot of time just doing this maintenance stuff so i was like let me go spend some time with my boy before my fiance gets home because i know then my time's gonna be for him but he went in there and played the game with josiah so while they occupied i'm like let me finish up this last little bit so i'm using the kiss with beast um so i already took the left one off and i just peel it off like i said and then get the gummy part off like I said, I've done a tutorial on this. I will post it. Who oh, Jesus? I will post it below. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty quick process. Like it took me less than two minutes to put that. All right. Say a little prayer and stick it down. And pray that this time it does not do what it did last time. Actually, I'm going to use my nail to press it down the first time because I think I knew what went wrong. There's a lot of product. Can you see that? so much build up so you gotta wipe that off so that when you press it and now that my lashes are clumped together it kind of makes it look a little wonky but you see that sometimes it sticks to the actual it gets stuck so that's what made the eyelash kind of come up this one looks a little wonky because my eyelashes are clumped together <laughs> with the glue but it's all good it's all good you know what we have completed maintenance day with tears in our eyes. I said next maintenance day is out the house. I'm not. I'm going somewhere. I am going somewhere. Where? I don't know. To somebody's spa. That's all I know. <laughs> next main, next self-care day is outside of this house. Like, I'm going to get my feet done. Let me tell you how many times. <laughs> Let me tell you how wacky. Really quickly. I'm going to get into that. <laughs> that this maintenance day was i polished my feet three times because i kept <laughs> i literally kept on smearing it and i feel like i'm doing that now as i'm sitting on my feet and i'm just praying to god that that's not the case but you know what i was like you know what i'm not painting these toes again so if it's clumpy if it's lumpy and it wasn't even that i was like being impatient i was literally being so patient literally i ha had my um because i have a nail dryer that I can like stick my feet in I sat under there I'm like maybe it cured I think it's a cheap polish for real I did go cheap I need to do better because that thing was not trying to not at all trying to dry okay guys maintenance day is completed listen thank you guys for hanging in there with me as I figured out what I was doing with my myself I oiled my hair like I said try to get my life together josiah and antonio are in the other room playing a video game so before they pop out come out i'm gonna i'm gonna chill out i need to woo -sa after today woo -sa, woo -sa. but thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll catch you guys next video bye